one of the main principles in the current era of cannulation is the use of a wire t for, to assist in cannulation. So the catheter or the sphincter tome is loaded with a hydrophilic guide wire and the orifice is engaged by the cannulating device and then once some degree of engagement is achieved, I'm gently pushing the wire to see if it's able to pass any further up the duct. I push hard enough, just, just hard enough so I can see if it's going to go, but not hard enough that if it's not going to go up the duct that I push myself out because if that happens I just need to start again. So it's time saving not to push too hard, but I'm probing gently uh, with the guide wire, basically trying to feel my way up the bile duct. With the advent of uh, improved sphincter tomes which with excellent bowing and good orientation, there's more of an advantage to use a sphincter tome to accomplish cannulation. For example, the sphincter tome can be bowed to achieve the optimal angle of approach to the papilla. Uh, a close relationship is necessary between the endoscopist and the assistant to optimize the approach. Historically, cannulas and sphincter tomes were long wire devices. They required a 450 centimeter guide wire to go through the length of the, in of the instrument. However, with strippable sphincter tomes and catheters, short wire ERCP guide wire manipulation is, um, has become possible. The advantages of using a short wire system versus long wire are several. Uh, first and foremost, the assistant and the endoscopist doesn't have to worry about an extremely long guide wire getting out of control, falling on the floor, and one can use a short guide wire, which is much more manageable. Second, the short guide wire allows physician-controlled uh, guide wire manipulation, which can be a distinct advantage in efficiency.